I looked around and settled on this site here with the idea of planting grapes. One of the things we started doing early on, and this goes back to when my dad farmed, we weren't afraid of new ideas. Early 91, 92, I'd fill the truck up with wine, uh, head down to Vancouver, and I wouldn't come back until all the wine was sold. Those were tough days. To go from one generation to another generation, it's, it's an enormous undertaking. When they started Glassgate, they set the vision, not set like medium, it's set like, like we want to be our leaders growing Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. We can't be successful without the people we have here. They have to share that passion. We all care about the wine, we all care about from beginning to end. It's decades of hard work and dedication. Everyone has contributed in the family to this and the staff that's here are like out of this world. They're part of us. Well, in the beginning, it was a diversified farm. So we grew apples, cherries, peaches, and many other uh, tree fruits. But at the time, I think that we thought that we were on the cusp of really doing some great things in the grape industry. Our father used to sit around the dinner table and he would always talk about he uh, wanted to get rid of the middleman. I know that inspired uh, my brother and uh, he had an interest in wine and made homemade wine. Uh, so it was a natural transition for uh, Ben uh, to get into the wine business and a natural move for the family. It started a long time ago. It started with doing the right research, with the right help, doing test blocks, finding the right clones, right rootstock. And they really um, focused on the right soil pockets and uh, the microclimates for each and every varietal. The family had a vision vision for what they wanted in the, in the restaurant and in the winery and the on-site experience with the wine and food. In a typical restaurant where you would create a dish and uh, sommelier in the dining room will find a wine somewhere in the cellar to match. Uh, we, we start with the wine. That was the key part that a wine visitor needed to be able to not only taste the wine that comes from this region but also taste the food that comes from this region so they can get a complete picture. And I think that those family values, like respect, honesty, and kind of believing in each other, yeah, that's true. I think it just makes its way into the winery. It's also about the employees that have powered it forward. And really now the craftsmanship from front to back that really allows us to produce wines like this is pretty spectacular. There's some pretty exciting opportunities ahead of us. All of the research and experimentation that we've done in, here on this farm is not nearly as significant as what we're going to do in the future. 200 acres of a single vineyard isn't developed that often these days. This site is going to offer something very different to what Quailsgate has done in the past. It's a brave, bold new future. It's the culmination of everything there. From back in 1956, when uh, the property was first purchased, to the start of the winery in 1989, to the planting of every block that exists in our vineyards. So at the end of the day, you should be able to look at that bottle and say, this is what we do.